Chromecast Audio is Google's way of making your dumb speaker smart. Plug it into any existing speaker and you'll be ready to stream music over Wi-Fi almost instantly. Here's what you need to set up and how to get started. What you'll need. A Chromecast Audio naturally plugged into power. A speaker with a 3.5mm input, RCA or optical input. And an Android or iOS device with a music app supported by Chromecast. These include Spotify and Google Play Music. Plug in the Chromecast Audio to power, then make sure the 3.5mm jack is inserted into the device. Plug the other end of that cable into the 3.5mm input in your speaker. Change the input on your speaker so it's looking for the analog or 3.5mm connection. This speaker has Bluetooth already, but I'm using Chromecast Audio to stream so I don't get incoming call noises and notifications. Once you're all plugged in, download and start up the Chromecast app. On Android, go to the Devices tab and select the Chromecast Audio. On iOS, if the app doesn't automatically detect your new Chromecast, go to Wi-Fi settings, connect there and then come back to the app. Once your phone has found the Chromecast Audio, you can get it to play a test sound through your speakers. Yes! Once you hear that noise, make a name for your Chromecast Audio if desired and activate guest mode if you want to. Enter your password to connect the Chromecast to the same Wi-Fi network your Android or iOS device is connected to and you're ready to go. Now you can use one of your music apps to play music to the speaker. Simply look for the cast icon and select the Chromecast Audio device. From your phone, you can control volume and change tracks. Stop casting by going into the Chromecast app and underneath Devices, select Stop Casting. You can also use Chromecast Audio with headphones, but hey, you'll still be tethered to power and probably look a little bit silly. That's been a quick look at setting up the Chromecast Audio. I'm Alexi Savides for CNET, and if you want to find out more about the Chromecast Audio, cnet.com is the place to go.